OK, so Apex is shipped with a series of custom tools uh, that have been developed by the Apex user community. Uh, various different functions available to increase your efficiency. So in your Apex workspace, under your user definition, you'll have a folder, or you should have a folder of custom tools. If it's not available, then contact your IT department for, for the data or your local MSC rep, and they'll provide the data, which you can simply just copy and paste into that location. So once you've got the data available, you can open up through options and application settings your custom tool palette. And in here, you've got the opportunity to specify the, the path to particular directories. So we're going to install everything here. So we're going to uh, bring up the Apex Utilities uh, and also the, the demo tools, which we'll show in a second. So picking the path to that location as well. OK. Uh, in this selection box or section form, we can select all or we can select the subset. So we're going to pick all for, the, for this example and then press apply. And then when we do that, all of the custom tool uh, icons and toolbars will appear on the right hand side. Um, so we've got a number of different things. So we've got attribution through to querying tools, etc. So we're just going to run through that um, in a little bit of detail. So we've got um, the attribution tools. I'll just bring this back up. Attribution tools, composite tools, loads of boundary conditions, uh, loads of mapping and material tools. Fastener tools, we can create fasteners and we can then update fasteners that have been created using these tools, so very powerful. Uh, we've got geometry or FEM and geometry specific utilities for certain things. When we've got in interoperability tools, so import and export uh, and access to third party tools such as CA fatigue, Mark and Hypersizer. Okay. Uh, we've got query tools, so general tools, uh, counting, FEM, geometry, just giving us um, data on the, on the model. And then we've got demo tools, which are effectively placeholders for um, specific Python functions. So if, we might, if you're interested in how a particular function operates within the Python environment, we can just simply hover over one of these tools, click on the documentation, and then we're given a Python code example for this particular type of function. Okay, So here we're looking at how to mesh selected bodies. So if we had this in a script we were writing ourselves, we could simply cut and paste, or rather copy and paste this, this Python code, drop it into our script, and then we can, uh, we can see how that would work. Okay. Um, so each tool does have its own unique support capability. So some of them have video, but everything will have a documented tech support as well. Uh, so we can look on, on those to see exactly how they work. So just a brief overview of the tool sets that are available through Custom Tools and Apex. I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to develop your Apex usage, head over to our site where you'll find many online learning opportunities.